Next is one of my favorite things and probably the most important thing, I use this for grocery shopping a lot, is checklists. You are going to have a bunch of checklists as um, someone who's about to get married. There's things to do, people to contact, vendors to pay. It's, it's a project, right? Uh, checklists help you manage that project in a much more efficient way. So if you can see here, we have a checklist called finalize guest list. Let's go ahead and click on to it. And I have six items in my checklist, which also shows up on the front of the card. This is called the card front. And once you click on it, this is the card back. So here's your things to do for this particular checklist. And as you start checking off things from your checklist, you'll see the progress bar moving forward, completing them. And it's pretty cool. So let's say I've done four out of six things. I'm 67% there. So if now we go back to the card front, you'll see there are six items in my checklist, four of which I have completed. So again, let's click on it. This was a checklist that already existed. What if you want to add a new checklist? You can add as many checklists to cards as you want. And you can also assign people to those checklists. That one is a little tricky because it's not a built-in feature Trello has today. I'm sure they're working on it and they get a lot of uh, requests for different ideas, different uh, suggestions, and they're constantly improving and enhancing their platform. So look forward to getting that in the future. But for now, how do we get around it? Let's say I wanna attach this or uh, create a new checklist and assign that to one of my bridesmaids. Uh, how do we go about doing that? Uh, simply click on checklist. Here you can name your checklist. So things to do. I'm gonna name, let's say my bridesmaid's name is Heather. And add. Now it's simply a matter of start typing what you wanna do. Send out invites. Look for RSVPs. As you're typing things, once you hit enter on your keyboard, it automatically creates a next line item for you to type. Um, looks for Look for RSVPs, count menu selections, count number of people. Again, you get the concept. You can add as many things as you want to a checklist and you can create as many checklists as you want. Now, one cool thing here is once you've named it, you can just click on it again and rename it if you'd like. So very flexible. Once you click the save button, things are done. As you might have noticed while I'm going through this training, there's not really a big giant save button somewhere that if I don't hit that save button, I'll lose all my work, which I love. So there's so many times I would be writing an email and I hit the wrong button and now all my stuff is gone. Trello does not work that way. It saves everything to the cloud. It syncs everything instantly. So if I do something here, I can then later see it on my phone because you do have a phone app and we're going to go through some of the screenshots of the phone app shortly. So that's how you add checklists. Again, you can play around with this, add as many checklists or as many items as you like. Another cool thing, once I have my checklist, if I don't like, let's say I wanted to put this on the checklist here instead of this one, I simply click on it, drag it and drop it. As easy as that. Similarly, I can move the order of these items. So if you have these items based on priority item on top and the lowest, lowest priority item at the bottom, you can move that around. Let's move this to the top and let's move this to the bottom. Let's move this back where it was. And maybe we move it all the way to the end. So there's a lot you can do. Another thing I wanna show you about checklists is one more way 
to assign a checklist to a particular person and then also how you can copy checklists into different lists and or copy from different lists or boards so to assign a checklist uh, what you can do is let's create a new checklist a new checklist now the first line item can be the person that you're assigning it to so let's say you at mention your uh, person in charge hit add and now you can start adding the items to this checklist and that's how you can uh, assign people to a checklist so now this person would know that this is the checklist they are responsible for so let's create a new checklist called new or checklist and we can copy items from let's say this checklist and we'll create that here so here we go all the items from the checklist that we copied from automatically got pasted right here and I didn't have to do anything so another way you can use checklists and if there is something that you are repeating over and over again you might as well copy it from one of the previously created checklists I mentioned earlier about not having to hit the save button as you can see this was written by me I don't even remember when I wrote it but I never hit the send button on it so it is already there it never deleted it for me I can X out of this card and then go back in it and that stuff will still be there because I forgot to hit the send button once I hit the send button it shows in the activity and now if you have a board member by that name they get tagged on this comment of yours so they know that you're asking them a question and they will get a notification so that's how checklist works we're going to go into detail about uh, members on your board and how you assign them certain things so hold on tight